people who lost their lives here, I will not mention the attacker's name. But I will speak of the cause, the reason, and the motivation behind an attack like this. My name is Amani Mustafa and I am a former Muslim believer in Christ today. And, be, and I am an apostate to Islam today and I reject all the evil teaching of Islam. And because of that, my life is threatened everywhere I go by Muslims and all over the world. You see, at the time of the LAX attack, I was hiding from Muslims who tried to, to uh, kill me to protect my children, my children's life and my life also. I was hiding for 10 years because of Muslims like the attacker that killed Vicky and the other victims. Through that time, God taught me that love conquers hate and also conquers fear. We will not be afraid of people that have evil thinking like this. I very much appreciate this country and this nation that was built on the sacrifice of freedom fighters and people that gave their lives for the independence and freedoms of others. And because of victims like Vicky and Yaakov and others, and the people we have lost here, and in the 9-11 attack, we speak against the atrocities of Islam and Jihad. You see, the attack on LAX that day was not because of the attackers um, that was not because the attacker was a fanatic Muslim. It was because of the teachings of Islam. He was acting upon the teaching of the Quran that says, those who believe, to those who believe, fight for the cause of Allah. And that is Surah 474. Allah also teaches the Muslims that he will cast the terrors on the heart, in the hearts of those who don't believe, and that is Surah 8, verse 12. We must stand against teachings like this, and our voices must, must bring freedom to Muslim people all over the world, and certainly in America. Such teaching is the reason and motive and the cause of attacks like this today. This attack was one of 19,150 deadly attacks since 9-11 up to today done by Muslims. We must stand against the teaching and the atrocities of Islam. We must speak against it. To honor people like our victims here today and the victims of 9-11, we must speak the truth the truth of evil teaching of Islam, but also understand that here in this great nation, our privilege is freedom and respect for humanity. And we must fight to keep it that way. My prayers and my thought are with you. Thank you.